to connect with the breath. Breathing into a four count, holding to a four count, and exhaling to a four count. And as you breathe, breathe in through the belly, up through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to the tops of your throats. And then exhale in the opposite direction from the tops of your throats down through the ribs, the lungs, all the way to your bellies, as though you're wringing water from a washcloth, bringing navel into spine. Again, perhaps place your right hands on your bellies and your left hands on your hearts to track the breath as it moves through your body. And let's begin. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four. And exhale, two, three, four. Again, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, three, four. One more time, inhale, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, two, Three, four. Now allow your breathing to come naturally to its own rhythm. Allow the warmth of your breath to go to any area of your body that is tense or sore and allow the breath to relieve the tension or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have, allow them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual and it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Good job. Let's go ahead and inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you slowly roll over onto the right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Good job. Slowly inhale as you come up to a seated position facing the front of the room. Maybe scooch those hips back so that you're up on your bolster. This is in your practice. Flex those feet. We're moving into Dandasana. Make sure that your heels are in a place that they'll be comfortable for three minutes. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge 
mention they have three tree 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 place your hands on either side of your calves inhale halfway up and exhale down dragging your chin to your shins and then just curling in again this is dandasana staff pose we're slowing our heart rates down, breathing in and out, and opening the fascia through the breath. Breathing in, finding where there's resistance in the body. Breathing out, by breathing that resistance out, you are allowing the fascia to open. Sorry about that call earlier. My dad now has an iPhone, and he's, um, Definitely good at using it. <laughs> and I hate to not answer when he calls, but I know why he's calling. We're going to get together this weekend, so. And we're here for three minutes. It takes three minutes to allow that fascia to open. Keep breathing, your breath is your power. We have one more minute. If you found any space to move into, do so now. Take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale first. Inhale those arms all the way up. Exhale as you twist to the left. Place that right hand down. Elbow comes close to that left knee. Left hand goes up, maybe make a mudra. Twisting into that dandasana. Dragging your shoulders back and down as much as you can. Breathing in and out. Again, we're twisting, bringing out our internal organs as we do this. And smile, it's Thursday.
inhale back up. Exhale as you draw that left heel towards your sit bone. Flex that right foot. Inhale, both arms up, half dandasana. And exhale, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach chin to shin. And then just curl in. Again, we're in half dandasana. We'll be here for three minutes, allowing the fascia to open, breathing in and out. Again, remember to breathe. Your breath is your power. This is what's allowing you to move forward with gravity. We're a little over halfway there. If you found any space to move into, do so now. Again, if this is too easy, I know that a lot of you are very flexible. You can also drag those shoulders back and down, grab onto the soles of your feet, and then drag that chin down towards your shin for a deeper stretch, but don't feel like you have to. Let's take two more deep breaths here, in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that right knee, dragging it to your left knee, twist to the back of the room. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk them forward. Coming down on that right cheek if this is in your practice so that you're in a full body twist. We're twisting our hips, our spines, our shoulders, and our necks. Breathing in and out. Again, we're dragging all four corners of our torso down towards the mat as much as possible, opening up our hearts as we do so. And we're here for three minutes as well. Thank you. 
one more minute here. Again, if you found any space to move into, do so now. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs and shake them out. Good job. Again, switch back if you can so that your hips are up on your bolster just slightly. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Twist to the right. And then exhale as you come down, placing that left elbow on the outside of your right knee. Open up that right arm, maybe make a mudra. And breathe. Dragging those shoulders back and down as much as you can. Inhale back up center. Exhale those arms down. Inhale first and exhale as you bend that right knee, dragging that right heel in. Flex your left foot. Make sure that you're up on your bolster. Inhale, both arms up. Exhale, flat back, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. As far as you can, chin to chin, and then just curl in, in half dandasana. We're here for three minutes, allowing the fascia to open. This is too easy. Grab onto the soles of your feet, drag those shoulders back and down, and drag your chin down towards your shin. But wherever you are is perfect. Slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you bend that left knee, dragging it to your right knee. Twist to the back of the room. Scooch back just slightly. Place your hands on either side of your bolster. Inhale first. Exhale as you walk them forward. Coming down on that left cheek. 
in a full body twist. Breathing in and out, dragging those four corners of your torso down towards the mat. Opening your hearts as you do. And breathe. One more minute. If you found any space to move into, do so now. deep breaths here in and out. And slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you extend your legs in front of you. Shake it out. Good job. Remove the bolster from behind you. Remove the block as well. Come up to the tops of your mats in Sukhasana, simple seated pose. Shoulders are back and down. The crowns of our heads are just above our root chakra. Grabbing onto your knees. Start to gently move in a circle, and we're starting in a clockwise direction around that root chakra. Again, this is a Kundalini circle. We're opening up our chakras as we do. Also moving our spines in six different directions, We're allowing those circles to get bigger and bigger as we move outward. But again, remember that you should be like a satellite dish. Don't go back too far. Keep your neck safe. And allow yourselves to start moving forward as much as possible. Again, from the root to the sacral, to the solar plexus, to the heart, to the throat, to the third eye, and all the way up through your crown chakra. Imagine a white light rising through each of those chakras, and then shooting down through your crown chakra. Illuminating the world, spreading as much goodwill as possible, as 
much kindness. to center. I'm going to move in the opposite direction. So counterclockwise, starting with small circles. Allowing those circles to get bigger and bigger. As you move outward, again, remembering that white light So you can almost touch your chins to the mats in front of you. And then slowly moving inward, smaller circles. Until you feel as though you could almost stack those chakras one on top of each other. Put your crown chakra on top, root chakra on the bottom. Open your eyes. Good job. Place your fingertips on the mat. Inhale that right arm up and over. Find that left ear. And exhale over to the right as far as you can, but be gentle. Keep those left fingertips on the mat and breathe. Inhale that right arm up. Exhale down. Inhale that left arm all Find that right ear. Exhale over to the left. Keep those right fingertips on the mat and breathe. Good job. Inhale that left arm up. Exhale down. Inhale your arms in front of you. Flex your hand. Take that right hand, place it over the left, and then gently pull back. Keep your arms straight, dragging that shoulder back and down as much as you can. Open up that wrist. Take that 
that left hand, place it over your right, pulling backwards, drag that right shoulder back and down, keep your arms straight. Take your right hand, place it over the back of your left hand, pull it in towards your arm. Again, breathing in. hand, place it over the back of your right hand, pull your hand in, opening that wrist again. And then Spider-Man, left wrist first. And then right wrist. Keep breathing. up straight. Place that right foot on top of your left thigh, half lotus. Maybe spread your bolster out in front of you because we're going to be here a little bit longer than we normally are. So if this is comfortable to you, put that bolster in front of you or the blanket. Inhale both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward as far as you can. Fingertips down and then just melt. Maybe place that third eye on your bolster or your blanket. Rock back and forth. Opening that third eye. And again, we're here for three minutes. So settle in. This is impossible. You can always have that right foot in front of your left foot in Sukhasa. Two more deep breaths here in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk your hands to the right. Grab onto your right knee with your left hand. Bring that right hand back, or maybe take a line, again, twisting, releasing toxins, drag those shoulders back and down again.
slowly inhale back to center. And now for those of you who would like to follow, let's go ahead and exhale as you cross that left foot up on top of your right thigh. Now this is full lotus position. Don't feel like you have to, but it's always nice to be able to challenge yourselves. See if this feels okay. We're going to just stay here for a few breaths. Breathing in and out in full lotus. Inhale and exhale as you release your left foot. Inhale first. Exhale as you release that right foot. Good job. Inhale that left foot up on top of your right thigh. Drag that right foot underneath. We're in half lotus once again. Inhale, both arms all the way up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge at the hips. Reach, 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 reach. Fingertips come down, drag that part down towards the knee. Again, you can be in Sukhasana for this as well. Wherever you are is perfect. Coming down as far as you can, maybe using a block in front of you. This is uncomfortable. You can rest your forehead on the block. You can use two blocks as well for these exercises, stacking the two blocks on top of each other. Wherever you are is perfect. One more minute here. Again, dragging that part down towards the mat as much as you can. Open up that fascia as you're breathing. Breath is your power. Take two more deep breaths here in and out. Then slowly inhale as you walk those hands back again. Exhale as you walk them to the left. Grabbing on to the left knee with your right hand, bringing that left hand back, or maybe taking a bind wherever you are is perfect. 
twisting, releasing toxins, dragging those shoulders back and down as you do. Slowly inhale back to center. Exhale as you draw that right foot up on top of your left thigh if this is in your practice. Again, just taking a few breaths in full lotus. <clears throat> Interesting pigeon, maybe placing that left cheek on the mat if this is in your practice. And again, you can be on your backs as well. If you'd like to, you can be at the wall, opening up that right hip, releasing any unwanted emotion that you may be storing there. In resting pigeon. There is a spring that exists with us and around us, where angels sing for rays of light. All rays of light and love for us, love for us, love for us, love for us. Let's go ahead and slowly inhale as we walk our hands back 
coming off on that right hip. Swing your left leg all the way around. Left foot is parallel to the right thigh. <clears throat> Bring that right elbow in. Inhale that left arm up and around. Find that right hip crease. Or maybe take a bind. Actually, breathing in and out. Inhale back to center. Stretch out your legs and shake them out. Come up to the tops of your mats in Malasana Yogi Squat. Inhale from your root chakra all the way up to your crown chakra. Next, exhale down again. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Place your hands on the mat. Inhale, halfway up to Arda. Take a giant step back with your right foot. And walk that left foot all the way across. Left knee down, right knee down, right top and foot down. Inhale as you walk those hands back, keep space. Exhale forward. This time, placing that right cheek on the mat. In resting pigeon, opening up that left hip. Slowly inhale as we walk those hands back again, coming off on that left hip. Bring your right leg all the way around. Right foot is parallel to your left thigh. Bring that left foot in and that left elbow in. Inhale that right arm up and around. Find that left hip crease. Maybe you take a bind if this is in your practice. And Marian Rossana twist. Inhale back to center. Stretch out your legs and shake them out. Good job. Bend your knees. Your hands are on both sides. Opening up, palms are up. Inhale as you draw those legs up into both palms. Again, you can either grab onto your toes and hold on here, or open up. Drag those shoulders back and down, and breathe. There is some space that exists. Bend your knees. 
arms come out on either side. Let's go ahead and just try that once again. Inhale as we extend those legs. Maybe open up even more. Draw those knees back. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch. Vertebrae by vertebrae down to the mat. Draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Place your heels just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push those hips up. Place your block underneath your sacrum and release onto it in a supported bridge. Again, we're opening up that lower back, breathing in and out. Slowly inhale as you push those hips up. Place your block on the lowest level below your sacrum, exhale down. Inhale as you draw those legs up overhead allowing the circulation to come back down to our vital organs, back down to our brain. Breathing in and out. Again, it's very good to have a moose, uh, a foam, excuse me, a foam, <laughs> moose in French, a foam block instead of a cork block for pretty much everything that we do except when we're at the top of the mat going into Ardha Chandrasana and people like to have a block for that. This is so much more comfortable with a foam block here. It's also more comfortable to have it under your head. These are just more sturdy. Slowly inhale. Then exhale as you bend those knees, placing the heels of your feet just below your sit bones. Inhale as you push your hips up, release the block, and exhale down. Good job, draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale first. Exhale as you extend that left leg. Inhale that right arm up overhead. Exhale as you push your right knee over to the left. Look over that right shoulder and breathe. Full body twist. Breathing in and out. Remember to breathe. The breath is what moves everything through your body. When you're doing these twists, releasing those toxins, it's the breath that does it for you. Inhale, both knees back to center. Exhale that right leg down. Inhale that left arm up overhead. Exhale as you push your left knee over to the right over that left shoulder and breathe. Again, full body twist, releasing toxins as we do so. Slowly inhale back to center, draw those knees in for a hug. Inhale through your nose, just side out. Inhale. One more. 
time. Inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso. Palms are up to receive down the ground. Starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet. Relax your ankles, relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads, relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes <clears throat> by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in for one final compassionate hug, rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys. Slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and remain here for a few breaths. Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room. <clears throat> Legs are crossed, hands are at Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Thursday. I will see you tomorrow and have a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you, ladies. I'm so glad you were here. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, Elizabeth. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Guys. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, guys. Let's see. Thanks. Need to be wearing this to find out how. There we go. <laughs>